here we have a very interesting example. We're declaring five different variables and we're printing out those variables. Let's run test and take a look. And there it is, it printed out one, two, three, four, five, which are the values inside those variables. Very interesting. I'm just kidding. Here comes the more interesting part. So instead of doing it this way, we could have achieved the same exact result by doing it this way. Let's take a look. And there it is, one, two, three, four, five, exactly the same result. The variable A is an array, and this array has five elements. One, two, three, four, five. This is how you initialize an array, and this is how you print out the individual elements inside the array. So we're printing out element number one, two, three, four, five. To print out an element of the array, you just start with the array name followed by the array index. So each one of these elements have an array index. The first one has index of one, so if you want to print out the third element, you specify the index of three. Now to change an array element, you do it this way. For example, if I want to change the third element of this array, I'm going to do a bracket three equal to whatever value I want to change it to. For example, the AI has recommended 10, but I want to change it to 100. Let's take a look and you can see it printed out 1 to 100 because 100 is my third element. It has been changed. The value of the element has been changed to 100. Same as variables in scripting, you can store anything you like inside an array element. For example, in this array, we're storing strings inside this array. So we have apple, banana, and oranges. Let's take a look. And orange, not oranges. The first element of the array is apple, printed apple and then banana, then orange. The fourth and fifth element of this array is printed nil and nil. Why? Because this array only has three elements. So element number four and number five are not defined or undefined, and that's why the value of those elements are nil. Here's the beauty of using an array. So instead of printing out each individual element of the array like we do here, we could have used a for loop to print out those elements. Take a look at this example. We have the same array here, and instead of printing out individual elements, we're using this for loop here. So we're starting out with i equal to one, and then we go in here, we print out a of index one of the array, so it's gonna print out apple, and it's gonna keep on going, it's gonna keep on looping until it reaches pound a. Pound A is the length of the array. So you just put the pound sign in front of the array name. You get the length of the array. In this case, the length of our array A here is three because we have three elements. So this for loop is gonna go from one to three and each time it's gonna print out the array element associating with the index I. Let's run tests and take a look. Here we have it. The first element printed out was apple, then banana, then orange. And it knows to stop at orange because of the length of the array. The length of the array is three. So it printed the third element, which is orange, then it stopped. Another loop that is commonly used when associating with arrays in scripting is the for in I pairs loop. The way this works is it's gonna iterate through the array. This is our array here. So we have array A. This loop is going to iterate through this array. Each time it goes through, it's going to return the index of the array and the value of the element of that array. So here, each time we go through, we're just going to print out the index of the array and the value of that element in the array. Let's run tests and take a look. All right, so first time it goes through the array, it printed index number one is apple, and then goes to index number two is banana, index number three is orange. Usually you use this kind of loop when you wanna specify the ranking of individual elements. For example, apple is first, so it's number one, banana is second, it's number two, and orange is three. But if you don't care about the ranking or if your array is not sorted, if you're not using the index of the array, you can just replace the index with an underscore. It means you're not using it. And down here, you can just remove the index here.
So in this case, we only care about what's inside this array. We're going through the array and we're listing out all the values inside the array, but we don't care about the order in which they come in. Let's take a look. And there it is. We only printed out apple, banana, and orange. And that is how you use an array in scripting.